A. Hmm. Yeah, hang on a second. Uh, has he, hasn't he called? No, no, it's not clear to me. Uh, mm -hmm. Hasn't he, mm, having or hasn't, for negative. Well, a hasn't he called? No, he hasn't. I think the question is, did he call? No, he didn't. Did he call? Yeah. Eight, but but has an eight. In... Oh no, it's only number you... hmm? eleven. Mm -hmm. Did you decide what food you want to order? I not haven't. Yeah, maybe is that I I not haven't. Let me see number nine. This example uh, about he was talking before the before this exercise when he explained about how you've been in, in Vietnam I think he said cool. um, eight. He Hola. Yes, tell me. Okay. En la eight. Yeah. And eight question. Uh, how about my cell phone? How then? Phone. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you decide what food you want to order? The number eleven. Have you decide what? What do you want to board? Yeah, I do. And the uh, twelve had Sara read the magazine, the magazine I gave, I gave to, to her. her. Roll. The third Number row. Number two. Have you decide how you decide. what food you want to order? How you decide what food you want? Number 12 has Sarah read that magazine I gave to her. 13, have you have you put all your toys away? Number 14, it rained. Writing, writing. A poem? Writing. Have you ever written? A poem. The number 10, I'm not happy. I, I don't see. I, I. Fine, the very fine. Ah, okay. I know how to. I still. I haven't found my cell phone. 
Oh. Yeah, haven't, haven't phones, haven't phone. because it's in the past, uh -huh. yes. The 11, you decide. Have you, have you, uh, yeah, have, have you decide. What food you want to order? Yeah. And the number. Hey, teacher. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Francisco. We got a question for you. Could you support us, please? You're in mute, teacher. Yeah, we can hear you. I'm sorry. Um, yes, uh, how can I help you? No. Uh, we have completed the exercise, but we got question in the number eight, in the sentence number eight. Okay. Has he called yet? No, he hasn't. Okay, that's has he called. Yeah, has he called? called. Now it's 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 okay. um it's your decision if you want to include the word yet or or not. So has he called or has he called yet? Yet. No, he okay. hasn't. Yes. And if you want to use still? Uh, still. You can also use still in a question. Has he still called? Yes. But before the verb, right? Uh, has he called still after after the verb? Uh, okay. Yes. Has he okay. called okay. still? Has he still called? It can be at the beginning. Okay. Uh, it can be before or after. Now, when you're using okay. yet, it goes um, at the end all the time. Okay. Yes. Uh, like this question yet. is because the instruction says uh, only use haven't or hasn't. But in this huh? case, you used uh, has in present. Yeah, if, 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 it's, uh, yeah, right. if it's third person singular, you can use hasn't. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and the number fifteen the, the last question, teacher. Yes. Sure. Uh, I no. think I hasn't I haven't forgotten, right? Or I think I have forgotten to buy forgotten. some bread. Okay. I think okay. I have forgotten to buy some bread. Double T, right? Forgot. Double T. Double T. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, Christian, we finished, finished. Okay. Where is that picture um, of your profile? Tell me, sir. It's in Iwazu Falls. Iwazu, <laughs> South America. Iwazu Falls, South America, and three boundaries between three boundaries: Paraguay, Brazil, and Argentina. Teacher. Oh, okay. Good. Good. When did you go? And the last year, and I think it was in October. Okay. Was it was it a pleasure or work? Pleasure. Could pleasure. I use my work <laughs> as channel to be there because I work for Avianca. Okay. It was for pleasure. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. It was my dream to know that place. Good. Good. It must be a nice place. How many days were you there? Yeah. After two days, but I been one week in Buenos Aires. Okay, good, good. All right. And comparing with another cities, it was the most precious place that I know. <laughs> oh, good, good. Now, where where you took that picture? Which of the three countries were you in? Yes. But what country in were fact, you in? In that picture? Uh, in Brazil. Brazil. Okay, good. All right. So let's yeah. return to the main the, session. The boundary. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Yeah, the boundary, no, the boundary is uh, 50 minutes. Uh, Argentina, Brazil, and, and Paraguay are uh -huh. in the same street. In the same street, you do the migration process. Okay. For the three different countries. Okay. So, all right. So you you go through the same customs uh, when you go there. Yes. All right. Good. All right. Good. So let's return now. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Were you able to finish all the exercises? Yes. Okay. Are there any questions with this particular page? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Emmanuel. Almost out. About the number, I don't remember. Let me. About the number two. Uh huh. What is the What is the 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 question form has mary done her homework yes she has mm -hmm. yes okay don't has, uh, uh, has mary don't done her homework yes she has and 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 the 11 teacher uh -huh. is the same way decide decided have decided. have you decided what decided. food you want to order yes decided okay right anybody else yes i uh-huh What would be the answer for that question? Have you decided what food you want to order? What would be the answer? Anybody? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I haven't. Not yet. Give me a few more minutes. But grammatically speaking, you should say, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Antonio, do you have a question? Uh, yes, I have a doubt in number six, uh, because I think it's uh, quite, it's a quite tricky. Uh, okay. Number six. I, I don't know if it's, if it's right. Um, I end up answering like, um, as Mr. Smith, have like, have had or his breakfast or something like that, but but I'm not completely okay. sure. If okay. Okay. Right so Mr. Mead had breakfast. Okay. Now remember that have had had the simple past form is the same one as uh, past participle. So since we're using past participle with the present perfect, you should say has Mr. Smith had breakfast. Has Mr. Smith had yeah, breakfast? So, so your answer was good. My spaces will be filled with has and had, right? Has had. Has Mr. Has Smith had, right? had, has had, yes. Okay. The DSM, Delta. Thank you very much. All right, good. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so our next um, exercise is related with was and were. Let me see this here. Share document, share, share. Do you see the page? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can send you an image of it. Yeah. 
Teacher. Yes, talk to me. Eh, Puede ampliar la imagen porque se ve borrosa. Okay, let me see it. What about now? Yeah, it's better, better teacher. Okay, let, let me take another picture. <laughs> Let's see. 8 to 9 p.m. Oh my goodness, Jesse, you were alone again. <laughs> Lonely again. All right, so I will assign you to work in pairs okay. again. Uh, some of you guys were working in. No, I'm afraid. <laughs> So let's see. So I have room three is available. I will send Benjamin move to room three. Arlen, I will move you to room three as well. So that way everybody's working in pairs. Let's go. Maricela. I don't see Maricela. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wish it. No, it is the other one, the number eight. The number eight. Mm -hmm. Ah, the, the his. 
bet have bet have us if he as the teacher. I really I couldn't understand these sentences. Yeah. I don't know what is it mean. So Which number, number nine, if you can read, you can the number eight. number eight. Number eight. Let's see number eight. Um he behaves as he as if he the teacher. Okay. Uh, the teacher. It's, Thank you. So the answer is was. Yeah, because it's he was. And, uh, uh, sociality network, Facebook, Twitter. Yes, the English is frozen too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's okay because it is to the front television and uh, no, 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 no more. No more work uh, or activity in, in you right now. Yeah. Okay, that's it. And the, ch and the teacher is gone? We finished. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Are there any okay. questions with this exercise? Now it's uh, good. No. Okay. All is clear. All right. So let me. Right? Not the best, but the other. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching this right now. Yeah. Where? When? Uh, there, there is number 10. Yeah. At the school or in the university, I don't know. Everybody have this problem because mm -hmm. you understand the conversation, but when you have want to to talk or explain something topics, you think in Spanish. Were there many people at the game? Okay, That's the question. All right. Well, okay. uh, do you have a consult or question and to Francisco? Or uh, some question, or some se some sentence. No, I think. Okay, let's worry with number ten. Is when she was young, she was good. Right. Because yeah. uh, you need to uh, practice, practice, and practice <laughs> every day. Uh, it, yes, yeah. It, it's more difficult for me. Yes. But we can do it. <laughs> you guys finished? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Uh, all right. <laughs> this is so difficult. But when you stay and you go travel and go to the United States or their country don't, where everybody speak English, it, the, your mind change completely because you listen all the day english 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 and you see the tv in english so it's more easy think in english by here in el salvador you speak all day spanish mm -hmm. and exactly. only one night in one hour a day you speak with everybody or with somebody english uh, it's very difficult you need more uh, i think passions and very responsibility with your classes and with your homework. Yes. Hi. All right, let's return. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Was everybody able to finish the last exercise? Yes. 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 All right. Nine so first time finish. <laughs> okay. So how many tenses do we have again? What? Twelve. 
we have the two tenses. Well. Yes. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. Every tense has a, a particular form of the verb. And every tense has a particular auxiliary. Like I said, we have 12 tenses. Um, every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So the idea here is that uh, by the time you guys finish the course, you guys are able to... Es que vaya, o sea, en el Banco Central de Reserva vas a encontrar toda la información sobre oh, la evolución okay. del comercio, pero o se la vas a encontrar en gráfica, vos tendrías que ir como sacando okay. la información. Understand. Really? <laughs> okay. No, no. Interesting. All right. <laughs> now, now, now we're all aware of that. Okay. <laughs> Are there any questions so far related about to, uh, banks or what? Yeah, good question about banks. <laughs> related, related to BCR or, or, or what? Yeah. All right. Uh, because, I, because, because I want to see those, those trends. Okay. Sorry. I'm really sorry, mister. No, it's all right. Okay, um, are there any questions related with today's class or any of the classes that we covered uh, this week? No questions? No? Oh, no, no. Okay, so we're going to stop here. No. I will see you again Monday, same place, same time. And once again, I thank you for making the time, for making the space. And uh, I'll be seeing you Monday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Nice week. Bye. All right. Bye. Have a nice week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a nice night. Good night. Likewise. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.